Uh, center this thing up a little bit. There we go. Hey YouTube, this is TCA Gaming. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys some stuff that I bought. A little bit different in this one. Then I think I've got a box that may be like a mystery... I don't know, some kind of box that somebody sent me. And then we're probably going to open up a base set heavy pack as well at the end of the video. So first off, we're going to start off with something a little different. We have this. We've got a Game Boy Color Silver version. So... I don't normally really collect games. The reason I actually had all the games there for a while, but I sold them because the way these things can be faked and they're easily faked, I just decided I was going to get out of it. And um, I recently decided to buy one of these because um, I saw this just come up. You know, when I was searching my regular Pokemon sealed, you know, search, I was like, "Wow, that's a pretty good price." And my two favorite are red and silver. Those were the two that I played when I was a kid. And this right here, you know, it's actually been graded by WADA. It's a 7.5, so, I mean, that's not anything crazy good or anything like that. But, honestly, I mean, it looks fine to me. It's, uh, it's graded by a company that's been you know, certified, it's sealed, and authentic. So, for me, that's pretty much what I was looking for, so that it wasn't uh, fake. And I'd love to get a red version, but I think they're like $5,000 or something ridiculous. So, you know, for this, I can get, you know, I could pay 800 bucks for this, and I think this game is actually a lot better than the red anyways. So, I was happy to add this one to my personal collection, and I'd rather have another five silver versions before I buy a red, you know, for that price. At least while it's five times the price anyways. Who knows? Maybe down the road, I'll go ahead and add it to my collection someday. Next up from Jackson, I got for 450 bucks. I bought these three blisters, jungle blisters, and then he also sent like a bunch of bulk kind of stuff. And uh, these blisters are pretty wrecked. You guys can see that it's like got bins everywhere, but somehow they're pretty intact. You know, usually it's pretty easy to tell when something's not uh, intact. Let me show you. This is one corner where it is because. They usually pull off the backing when that glue seal comes off, so it's really hard to put them back on and try to fake that. So the way I saw it, it was, you know, three unweighed jungle packs, if nothing else. And it's got some blister um, backing to kind of verify that. I may sell them, I really don't know. He had some other stuff included in the purchase, but the only card that I really want to show you uh, is this Alakazam. And the reason I want to show you this Alakazam is I thought it was kind of cool. Nothing, you know, terribly special on it, but check it out right here. It's got like a little some kind of bleed issue with uh, the background so I thought that was cool I'm just gonna stick this in my personal collection I don't know if that adds you know too much value to it or not next up I want to show you a PSA submission I haven't shown a ton of these lately but this one was pretty convenient let's see let me look at his note I'll just show the note thanks again and feel free to use any unboxing for YouTube content Zach so he actually submitted I believe it was 50 cards he had three cards uh, put on a raw review. And this is these first three that I'm going to show you. So he submitted a base set Charizard. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? Well, this one actually I graded a four to five, mainly because right here it's got a crease that's a lot more noticeable when it's outside of the case. This Venusaur, very nice, number 13. I think I graded that one at an eight. And he also has a shadowless Venusaur. Very, very deep, strong color. It's got pretty good centering it's a little bit up but it's pretty good centering and I gave it an 8 to a 9 and I uh, yeah this could this could very well get a 9 but I think there was a few smudges and things on it that I would saw alright so here's the rest of his collection he did not have me raw review these but I will show them to you I get in collections every week I submit them at least once a week now PSA is not exactly prioritizing bulk orders from what I'm being told but I'm still sending them in every week, so they're going to have to start processing them sometime. So the earlier we get them in, hopefully the sooner they have them graded. Now, I can tell some of these cards have seen some play, but there's some real uh, champions in here if they do pull the 10 out. You've got a mix of new cards and old cards. That's the shattered foil version that comes from the theme deck. Good old base set. Got those mixed in. That Wigglytuff would be a nice 10. Don't think it's going to get it, but would be a nice one. This is actually the Tempest Thunderstorm. Um, you can tell because it has the Galaxy Foil and it's 1999 2000 at the bottom. If this just said 1999 and it had that Galaxy Foil, then it would be worth a lot of money. Probably 500 to a thousand dollars. As is, you know, ungraded, you know, probably a $15 card or so. 
all those Gyarados. Got Mr. Mime, Sabrina's Gengar. That would be a beautiful card to get in a 10. Lapras is always expensive. You guys know I paid that 500 bucks for one recently. And then we're going to finish off with some Raichus and Gengar. All right, so let me put his collection back into his team bag here. This is, actually, this is a PSA graded bag, but it's basically the same thing as a team bag. Put them back just like that. That way I have them. And I got to get them ready for PSA. Okay, so next up I have a purchase that I made in two parts from somebody. Here's some of it. So this is actually a fire red leaf green blister that has come off. And you can actually see where it matches up really nice. But you can see how, you know, when it comes off, it pulls off some of this backing. And it's a lot worse on the old Watsy one. So, I mean, you wouldn't really be able to put this on here without having some kind of noticeable, you know, tampering. But the way I see it, it you know, it probably come from here. I don't know. Maybe if I sell it to somebody, I'll sell it, you know, them, you know, like he did with me, this backing, the extra bit. But it's kind of cool. It's nice little display piece but I'm gonna set it down in the background also in this collection we had some southern islands cards check this out Got some non hollows and then yes there are the hollows and then there was a few Japanese hollows as well and there was a lot of PSA cards with this set uh, I'm not going to show those there was a Japanese southern island set you got one two three four five I think we're missing the one with Mew in it. That's the one you want. You got Riverside, Jungle, Sea, Beach, Field of Flowers. I think the other one's Rainbow, maybe. I think that's the, the last one. And then there was also some nice packs that come with this. So there were four base set packs. And I don't know if these are heavy or not. They kind of weigh a little heavy. Um, we're going to open up one at the end of the video. Somebody bought one as a heavy pack. If it has a hollow, you know, that's pretty cool. I think we're actually going to open up the, the Venusaur artwork and then the Charizard artwork if this one doesn't have a hollow. So I'm going to take a risk. And uh, I sold it as a heavy. And if both of them end up not having a non hollow, I'll just have opened up two non heavy packs and I'll have to refund the guy. But that's probably what I'll do anytime I get in packs like this where I don't have a box or I don't have a legitimate source to be able to compare the packs to. Now for this uh, Neo Discovery pack, I think this might actually be a heavy as well, but again, it, it's hard to tell. Sky Ridge, I don't know much about the weights on these. I think this may be a light. So I think if I sold that one, I wouldn't risk selling that one as a heavy. I don't know anything about the Japanese packs. I know with base set, you can't have heavy and light. Jungle should all be heavy. or should all have hollows. Same with Team Rocket. Then we have some Pop Series 1 packs. All of these will have two non-holographic cards so you can't there's, you can't wait them and then we have Neo Genesis which I think also has non holo rares so this one could go either way so these two should have hollows and these two I mean, we don't really know uh, I may end up selling these but I'm gonna set these back off to the side and we're gonna open up that one and hopefully it has a hollow in it if it doesn't then we'll open up the Charizard and if neither one of them have a hollow then just blew that up but we're gonna try it out anyways Okay, and the only reason I'm considering opening them is because uh, the other long pack that come with it weighed about half a gram less, which is about right. Uh, I bought some Southern Island sets. You guys can see the one that I just bought. I actually bought several. This is another set that I purchased. And then check out that Rainbow Mew. It's got the double swirl going on. And then here's one more. It actually come with a little note. Big fan of your videos. Thanks for the purchase. A real shaman. <laughs> so here's his set. I haven't checked these to see if they're PSA gradable yet. I think they were sold to me as light play. Wow, that's like the perfect double swirl. Did this one have it? So his swirl will probably be you know, somewhere in there. Well, actually it should be right there by his name. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Let's see if you line them up. Should be about that far apart. Well, it's probably about half under his name. And you can kind of see where the start of the other swirl is there. So I guess if you line it up perfectly, you might be able to get four swirls on one of these. 
See if this one has, that's got one there, so the other one would be in the picture. Slow King. I'm not seeing any on him. What about you guys? Can you see it? <laughs> Sometimes I guess you get zero swirls. And then last, the Togepi. Nothing really going on there. That one kind of looks a little beat up. But overall, I think it's a really good set that you can get. I mean, I think I paid like 150, 175 bucks for those sets. I mean, beautiful sets. 18 cards. And if you get a PSA 10, of course, you get, there's a lot of potential with that. Uh, before we open up these, the last thing I'm going to show you guys is whatever's in this box. I don't know what's in this box. So, this is what I... Let me see if you guys can kind of see it. This is, what, this is what it said on top. Open on channel, exclamation mark, and then there's your smiley face. Let's see if there's anything inside. Oh, there is. Okay. So, hey, TCA, good luck on the four heavies. I will open up and on my channel at the same time. Some goodies inside for your children to open. Uh-oh. TCG authority. So, it looks like this video, we're going to have a little bit of an extra surprise. Uh, I think he sent four Supreme Victors. Heavy packs, maybe? To open up if I'm if I'm remembering correctly and then we also got these heavy base so we'll do that if if that checks out we'll do the heavy base first and then we'll go into the other stuff it looks like this video is gonna be a little bit longer than I thought Let's see what it's got going on up in here all right so we got some coins you got the ho-oh the shiny ho-oh got Hydreigon man I'm not gonna know this new generation of Pokemon because I'm not playing it like I did Gen Seven. <laughs> I guess we're on Gen 8 now. Got a Lola Nine Tails, got a Soul Galeo, and then we got a Litten. It's gonna be sad. I'm gonna be opening stuff up and be like, what is that? Let's see what he sent us. He sent us Detective Pikachu. Oh wow, look at that. Harry Potter, the Quidditch Cup. And a second one, and then a third one. So that's pretty cool. Maybe we'll uh look into those as well. We'll set those right there in the background. This is the golden one, so I think that actually has different cards. Okay, there's something there. Something here. And he's just throwing out all kinds of stuff. Check it out. We got Fortnite. And then we also have Star Wars. Wow, check that out. Yeah, I don't actually know what Fortnite is, but I've definitely heard of it. I, def I do know what Harry Potter is. I've watched those movies several times. Oh, wait, what do we have here? We have a Charizard 10. I think this is the second round of the Kanto 10s. Let's see if it actually says on here. I think in here you get two booster packs and a coin. And definitely cool with the Charizard. It's like textured. I don't know if you guys can see it. So thank you very much for that TCG authority. Now let's see what we got going on here. Okay, so here are the heavy packs. Can I rip through the plastic? There it is, Platinum Supreme Victors. One, two, three, four. We got four different artworks. So, out of here, you can get a Charizard Level X. A beast of a card. I still need the, the promo reprint of that card, the DP45 and a PSA 10. All right, here we go. We're going to start off with this one. Push it down, I'm gonna cut it across the top. Here we go. I have no idea where the card is, so we're gonna go straight through. Looks like it could possibly be in the back. Definitely has some curve to it. It's got Sand Shrew, Mudkip, Gibble, good old Generation 4, Ball Toy, Magikarp. So there's the Reverse Hollow Togekiss, so I'm betting it's gonna be behind that. So we've got the Relicant. Ivysaur, and I think it's going to be the next card. Is it? No, we've got one more. Cyrus's in Initiative. <laughs> it's like, what? All right, so we've got the Reverse Hollow Toga Kiss, and oh, look at that. Magmortar. He's got the Hollow Bleed going on. Going straight into his cannon. Wow. You can kind of see it right there when I flash it. Or maybe it's supposed to be Hollow. I don't know. I know Diamond and Pearl sets were pretty uh, notorious for the Hollow Bleeds, but it was more sets like Secret Wonders, you know, was really, really bad about it. But people loved it. I remember when it comes out, there was people paying or selling them as misprint Hollows. And back then, Hollows were like a dollar a piece. 
Let's see if I can just open this one. And they were selling them for like $50 a piece. I mean, that's how much you could pay and get a first edition holographic card back then. One, two. All right, so, well, first edition base set hollow. That's what I should have finished with. And I'm talking like near mint condition. I still remember, you know, not bidding on some first edition hollows because I thought it was ridiculous when the price was raised to 50 bucks a piece, a piece in auction. So there's our reverse hollow. We have the Cherim. And this is when it started off with those attacks that didn't have any attack cost. Oh, I must have, there must have been one more card back there. We got the Yan Mega. Let's see what this is. Palmer's contribution. But look at that swirl right above his wing. Man, you can see the hollow bleed going right over his wings. Really very, very thick. Well, look at that. Let's see if let's see if I can catch the same light I'm seeing over here. Like it's all over that card. Very cool. Let me sleeve these up. So I have two more to go. Can we get a level X? I don't know anything about the pull rates for Diamond and Pearl. I know that I used to get packs for two dollars a piece. That's just what I'd win them for on eBay. This is like you know right when the stuff was coming out. I'd always be conflicted between buying you know these Diamond and Pearl packs, which were the newest, hottest set for two dollars a piece, or trying to bid on the first edition fossil lots that people would sell. There was one guy who had just tons of them. He would sell them at auction, and they would normally bring. 30 bucks for 15 packs. 10 packs, he might get $25 out of it. Now, man, now. Here's our first card. Okay, it's Shinx. It's pack number three. So we got an Altaria C, a Minun, and a Rhydon. Then we're going to go with Shinx, Drifloon, Piplup, Meowth, Zubat, Reverse Hollow Chatot. And then for the Hollow, oh, it's a level X! <laughs> Star Raptor FB. Wow, we actually got one. These are so hard to get in Gym Mint 10 condition. The quality, usually there's always, a, see like that white nick? There's always usually a white nick or two or three on the back side. Got a little bit of damage right there too. To the front, oh man, that looks really good. Does not have the same hollow bleed as the uh, the other ones did. I'd say that's probably an eight to nine PSA graded. I think we just pulled out of a pack. These packs look really fresh. So there's our star pull so far. Let me tilt this down a little bit. There we go. I don't know why I have it up so high. Last pack. So we've already gotten a level X. Do you think we could pull another one? You gotta think, this is like opening up three packs and every time you do this, I mean, really this would be like opening up 12 packs because this would be the fourth heavy pack that we've had. So can we pull two level X's in the equivalent of 12 packs? A third of a box. Something satisfying is about just opening up a pack instead of sniffing it. All right. We have Pinsir, Cherum, All Grass so far, Togekiss Seeds, so there's another one of those, Roselia, Cherubi, Metatite, Gibble, Bulbasaur, come on, Reverse Hollow Charizard, oh, right on, still a good one. If you notice how this has got like a lighter fighting background to it, you could see some of this same fighting background actually on Fire Pokemon, I'm not sure what happened, but I think Pokemon got a little mixed up. All right, here we go. Oh, it's not a heavy. This is actually a rare, just a non-hollow clay doll. Still sleeve it up for the guy. Do the same thing with the Rhydon. So here are our pulls. We did not get four hollows, but we did get two hollows, four reverse hollows, and then we got a level X Star Raptor FB. So thank you so much, TCG Authority. He said that he wants to drop this at the same time, so looks like we'll have another video that you guys can go check out yeah, on his channel. I think usually he comments in the videos and stuff. Probably comments more than I do. Alright. Now, let's see if we can get us a heavy base set pack. I've weighed it out. It's, it's over 21.3 something or another. 
usually that's heavy even for a long long pack you know it should be a little heavy but i don't know i don't know let's see one two three i don't even remember now we'll just do this Shit, i'm pretty sure this is fourth card from the back let's sleeve it up and see what happens okay so we've got far-fetched Arcanine, Maintenance, Bulbasaur. So we got two starters and an Arcanine. Abra, Ghastly, and a couple of energies. Okay, here we go. Can we get the hollow? Oh, it is a hollow. And I think that one actually weighed a little bit more. So that leaves me pretty confident that it is. And we got us a starter. Man, it's a it's a beast Venusaur. The prices on these have really went up. Looks like it's got a little line up there, but man, it's pretty faded back. A little one right there, but you don't really see it on this side. It's just got good color. I don't see any chipping around the edges. Let's look at the bottom. Really, really light silvering. The back side does have a few white dots here and there, but they're really small. I would say this is a solid nine. Wow, what a way to wait! What a way to end it. So I'm glad that was a. A heavy pack I still will only sell that that other one if it is opened up on camera just in case but I hope you guys enjoyed the video first time we had one over 20 minutes in a while let's see if we can uh, get you guys some more content here very soon thanks